Sean, I'm glad you came. What's happened, Padre? The Gestapo officer I was supposed to meet with wasn't inside the office when the bomb went off. He escaped the blast. Does he know you delivered the bomb? No. The fool never suspected that this doddering old priest might have a hand in the attack. He's so sure of my innocence that he asked me to officiate at his wedding. <laughs> <sighs> Jesus Christ. Ah, excuse me, Father. But what woman would marry a man like that? A French girl. Barely more than a child. He threatened to have her family deported if she didn't accept his proposal. Not exactly true love, then. We will be doing the bride and her family a favor. How's that? We are going to kill the groom, along with his groomsmen. At a wedding? Doesn't that seem a tad sacrilegious? Ah, the Lord moves in mysterious ways, my son. What do you say? Amen, Father. Injuring any civilians. En l'honneur de l'anniversaire du Führer, le couvre-feu sera différé de 15 minutes ce soir. Shall be one flesh. So then they are no more twain, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let not man put asunder. If any man should object to... Ah yes, if any man should object to... The You're fucking kidding me. Fucking 
consider that a fucking divorce. The Lord will be my shield, but he expects you to save your own ass! Nöte. 
we ain't got all day. Something so I can eat. Skyler Sinclair. I wondered if you made it out of Sarbrook and alive. I got out just before the shooting started, one step ahead of the Gestapo. We weren't all so lucky. I heard about Jules. I'm so very sorry, Sean. I know how close you were. It's a funny thing. Jerker had it in his head that Jules and I were working for the Brits. Oh? How odd. I reckon he had us mixed up with somebody else. Somebody who was at that race to spy. You always were too clever for a grease monkey. <sighs> too clever by heart. Slip me a mickey. Why? Think of it as a job interview. It's time you considered a new line of work. Good evening, Mr. Devlin. Fuck you. 
Limey bastard. You may call me Bishop. Miss Sinclair dosed you with a mild paralytic. The hangover should be no worse than what you're accustomed to. In that case, fuck you arseways. <laughs> ah, yes. The famous Celtic charm. Small wonder your homeland is such a popular tourist destination. I don't get back much. Perhaps that's because you're a wanted fugitive in your own country. I see you made quite a number of enemies back home. Quite a resume for a man your age. <laughs> well, what are you then? Scotland Yard? Not quite. Of course, we know about your father as well. Tell me, did you ever find out who started the fire? Who the fuck are you people? We are a dagger at the enemy's throat, and the time has come to start cutting. Last time I checked, your lot was losing this war. Is that what you want, Mr. Devlin? To see the whole world fall under the shadow of the Third Reich? I didn't think so. I'd see the Nazis burn in hell for what they'd done. But you still haven't told me why I'm sitting here. You're here because I require a favor from you, Mr. Devlin. In exchange, I will see to it that your criminal records are wiped clean. Not a chance. And deliver Kurt Dierker to you on a silver platter. What is it you want done? The Nazis have been digging at the Lachey Cemetery in Paris. They have unearthed something from one of the crypts. They put it in a box. I want that box here. Miss Sinclair will provide whatever assistance you may require. Huh. What's in the box? The contents of the box are none of your concern. Curiosity killed the cat, Mr. Devlin. The same may be said for indiscreet Irishmen. Ha uh ha. -huh. You got yourself a deal. I'll get your box. And when I get back, you'll tell me where I can find Dirker. You have my word. <laughs> well, we'll find out what it's worth.